Reading about the plan to replace part of the Bay Bridge in just one weekend, one driver said, Oh, I wish them luck. Not just luck, but a whole lot of planning, precision, and a ton of overtime is what it's going to take to move this huge piece of road into place before Tuesday morning's commute. So how does Caltrans plan to do it on time? We have got contingencies upon contingencies to make sure that we deliver. Take this crane, for example, and the other one sitting next to it. It's a 600-ton crane that lifts segments. We've got two backups for it. We've got a crawler crane that's already out there in place, and we've got one on the side. Lines. So we have a lot of extra equipment and crews ready if we have to change tactics. And with just 81 hours for 100 workers to get the job done, having Plan B and Plan C is essential. The timeline has room for mistakes, but not much. At 8 p.m. Friday, they'll close the bridge, then take two hours to make sure it's empty. At 10, the work begins. They'll spend all of Saturday and Sunday tearing down the old roadway and carting it off. Then early Monday morning, when it's all clear, they'll slowly slide the new piece into place. The rest of Monday, they'll spend attaching both ends to the existing roadway and reconnecting power and phone lines. In those 81 hours, the work will be constant. Definitely nonstop. At the Bay Bridge, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.